Hello friends. So after a long, long time, I am able to sit onto my laptop and uh, able to record something, you know, because previously due to some um, personal problems and health issues, I couldn't do the justice to my YouTube uh, effort and communicate with you. Apologies, but you know, this time we are going to switch over to a new topic, entirely new, that is .NET Multi-Platform App UI. So we'll get started with the very basics and what is the .NET MAUI? .NET MAUI or Multi-Platform App UI uses the latest technologies for building native apps on Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android, abstracting them into one common framework built on .NET. That uses a single code base, C sharp code base, and project system for all device targets to build apps that look and feel like the native platforms. And you can build beautiful apps faster and easier by integrating the power of Visual Studio with .NET MAUI or M A U I. Let's switch over straight onto the Visual Studio and start making our first .NET MAUI application. So Visual Studio 2022 is in front of me and I like to create a new project. Now, here there is a .NET MAUI app already there within my recent project templates. Now, if you don't find it within your recent project template or even when you search for templates, then the best way to install, that means um, you don't have .NET MAUI installed on your Visual Studio. So what you have to do is to open the Visual Studio installer and update it first. And then uh, let me show you what I'm saying by VS installer. So Visual Studio installer. Now my Visual Studio installer looks like this. So here I can see one update is available for Visual Studio Community 2022 17.9, but that's not what I wanted to see, show you. I need to show you when you are first downloading Visual Studio 2022, it will look like this, you know. Um, so let me bring it on my desk from Microsoft tutorial. And here you can see that it will show you workloads, individual components. I hope you are able to see this side and you have got desktop and mobile application. So .NET multi-platform app UI development. Now you have to download and install this workload. Click on this button and then install. Then it will install the .NET multi-platform app UI development, all workload and all dependencies for creating a .NET MAUI or MAUI application. So I can now update it. That's another question. So that's beyond the point of this application. So because I have already got MAUI installed on my machine, so I will start straight away and I will create a .NET MAUI app and make it dot MAUI app 2. Okay. So click on next dotnet 8.0 long term support and then create and in a ziffy uh, it creates the maui application too and you can see here it is a windows machine and i have got several other options available for running the machine frameworks dotnet 8.0 windows this 10 version okay and dot .NET 8.0 Android, .NET 8 iOS, MSC Catalyst and Windows, this Windows machine, okay. And there are then uh, iOS remote devices, iOS simulators, Android simulators and all. So, to first thing that, you know, your machine is, uh, you know, now it has created a MAUI app straight out of the box and let's run this machine. Let's run this app with the Windows machine at the moment without going for any emulator because that will come eventually after this and let me show you quickly how it looks like. Okay, so this device needs to be set up correctly to 
develop this type of app for windows if you don't then you cannot install and test your app before you submit it to the windows store so go to the settings for developers okay so let's click on this link and see developer mode is turned off so let me turn it on Okay, turning on the developer mode, including installing and running apps from outside the Mac Store could expose you to... Okay, yes, turn on the developer mode. Right, so it is now on. Now I should be all right. And let me run the application, which I have already clicked earlier. Now it is running. It is building the application and soon it will come up. And let's see how it looks like. Uh, wow, that's awesome the maui application is built in a ziffy and it comes up with hello world come to dot net multi-platform app ui and if you click me it clicked one time two times three times and how it works now let's do a bit of post-mortem about this application now this code comes from here main page dot xaml okay so in the xaml you can see the text is hello world so Let's change the hello world to some other text like hello world. Hello world from Maui. And then save. Okay. And then again run the application. And it comes up with hello world from Maui. Now I will show you the hot reloading. Hot reloading means if I change something just without stopping the application in the debug mode itself and save it and click on the this button, hot reload button, it will take away the changes straight away and it will show you on the preview. So hello world from Maui. We'd say anything like hot reload to test. Hot reload. Then click it, save it, and then click the hot reload button. And then let us find our application. See, it has come up with hello world from Maui with hot reload. Wow, you can still click me and click one, two, three times. Now, next, what we'll do is we'll change now where does this i mean uh, how many times that i have clicked comes from so click on the solution explorer and below the main page dot xaml you've got the code behind file main page dot xaml dot cs so now if you here you can see on counter clicked uh, count is incremented by one so instead of one you can increase it by a particular step of 10 set step of 10 count plus equals 10 10 and then save and then hot reload again so without stopping the application just click on save and hot reload and then click four times 14 times 24 times 34 times that's it so i've been able to show you hot reload i've been able to show you how you can test your first multi-platform application UI interface. So there you are. So if you like this video, please share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel and um, support me with your comments and feedbacks. Thank you.